Hey guys, Lester, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Pixelmon Season 2 here on the channel. Now, I know it's been a minute since last time we were here. It actually seems a little bit longer than what it actually was. I'm just recording this on Sundays now. But um, uh, last episode, we kind of got our, our materials together and we headed out on our adventure to search for a uh, Ultra Space Dimension. While at the same time, hopefully finding some new Pokemon and stuff along the way. So that's where we're continuing on our journey today. But I did want to say I did in-depthly go through the config file. I checked all the different plots. Is this a... What is this biome? Oh my gosh, this is a beach biome. That's hilarious. But um, I went through all the config files. I changed a lot of the settings that had to do with spawns and whatnot. So we should have a little bit more spawns happening now. That is a Shinx. I'm going to catch that. Um, so hopefully... I, I changed the legendary spawning. I changed up a lot of the... Mm. Uh, um, like spawning for Pokemon in general, I changed up some of the settings on how like the whole Pixelmon mod works. Mm -hmm. So hopefully things will work a little bit better now and we caught that Shinx right off the bat. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a little bit better, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the Pixelmon content on the channel. If you have been, feel free to hit that like button, share your support. Let's try to go for five likes on this video. Hopefully we can get that done today. Um, one major change that I do want to say right now that I did choose is if we managed... That's a Tepig. Tepig, come here. But, um, one thing I did want to say we did change is if we managed to get a, uh, if we did Ditto, if we breed two Dittos together, the eggs that they will drop can be any random Pokemon, but I also enabled it so they can drop legendaries as well. So, that's another huge thing. But yeah, definitely expect to see a lot more Pokemon spawning now. I didn't up it too much, but I upped it to a point where it's noticeable. All right, Charizard, we're going to have to knock this Tepig down. One HP. Yep, perfect. Now let's go bag Dust Balls. Oh, and in the config file I did look, there is absolutely no setting for uh, making Ultra Space Dimensions spawning any quicker. I edited the Dimensions a bit. Like, I, I edited what can spawn there and stuff, but uh, it seems the dimension itself, there's no way to make it spawn any more frequently or not. So, yeah. It's a little bit of a downer, but either way, it's still fine. Um, some iron there. Do, don't I need iron? Wait, I think I actually need iron. I think I'm going to grab this. That's the wrong button. There we go. Hey, the trap. What's going on? But, yeah, uh... I think last episode, oh yeah, last episode we lost our entire team to a Salamence. Like, our whole team got destroyed by Salamence. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm happy we at least got... I mean, we're, we're probably never going to kill a Salamence, real talk. Like, a Mega Salamence AI boss thing is just difficult. By the way, I also messed with the AI a bit. Some of the Pokemon are going to be a lot more um, rewarding to catch now. It's not going to be like, uh, it's not going to be too overpowered, but it will be a lot better. Because uh, in the config file, it was giving them random moves, the Pokemon when you caught them. But I changed it so it now gives them the most recent, like, it's still random, but it prioritizes moves that they would have just learned from their current level. And we just got a Draco plate. Awesome. Right, I forgot I don't really have that much. I need to install, I know it's a little bit too late. I... I want to install a backpack mod on here so I can at least, you know, store things while I'm walking around. Because currently, like, I fill up really quickly, like, my bag space. I'm also really hoping to get a legendary because I have two Master Balls now. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I meant to uh, update the trainer. I mean, we're we're far out right now. We're not going to be fighting him. But I forgot to update Goku Black, our gym trainer back home. There's a Shuppet. Cute shop. Let's see. There's actually two mossy rocks right there. I don't think we ever caught an Eevee. I don't think we ever... Here, wait a minute. Slash PC. Did we ever... Whoa, wait. Why are those Pokemon going to box... 30? That's weird. Here, wait. Let me move these guys over really quickly. There we go. But, um, did we ever catch a Eevee? No, the answer is no. We never caught Eevee. All right. Apparently, this this uh, Eradicate wants to go. I also made it so when I click, like, not to pick up the item, it deletes them instead of just throwing them on the ground in front of me. Makes that a little bit easier as well. There's a lot of Glammeows around, but we're not really looking for a Glammeow. 
Um, and also with the upping of the spawns, hopefully we'll have a higher chance of getting some like unique spawns like legendaries and whatnot. Um, I also decreased the shiny rate, or increased I guess I should say. So before there was a 1 in 10,000 chance of a shiny spawn. I know that's a bit insane. So I now made it 1 in 8,000. So it's like the traditional uh, Pokemon back in the day. I don't want to make it any lower though because I don't want it to be super easy to encounter shinies on here. I mean this is in Pokemon Go. I don't want to like get a shiny every day. That's a bit much. I mean, I think I've only ever encountered one shiny so far. I think it was a shiny Hoot Hoot. And that was like a while back. All right, we're going to have to fly here. Uh, Rayquaza. Thank you, boy. All right, now I guess we can go over towards... Let's go over... Mm. <gasps> wait, wait. Ultra Space Dimension. Yes. Yes. Ow. Ow, I'm like stuck. Wait. Why am I stuck in the... <laughs> Alright, well, we made it. Yes! This is awesome! Okay, but we are lagging a bit. Yeah, we're really lagging. Okay, you know what? It's another... Obviously, it's low gravity. That's right. I have to... Here, wait. Okay, I should be able just to do this. Yeah, we have to get to the surface, like pronto. And it should be to the surface. Yep. Eh. Wait. All right. We are in a swamp land. What is this? The swamp land. So it's just swamp land. Uh, nothing too special. Now, in the Ultra Space dimension now, I made it so that Pokemon have a higher chance here of being shiny. They have a higher chance of forest fires, apparently. They have a higher chance of uh, having special moves. Like, if they had any, like, unique or special moves, they have a higher chance of having that here. Is that a Y-Bat? Wait. That's a Y-Bat, isn't it? Wait a minute. Come here. Stop flying so fast. Y-Bat. Y-Bat, I don't think you understand. You're a pretty rare uh, species of Pokemon. Eh. Oh, no, no, no. I, I remember we're not, we don't want to fall into the void. Where are we right now, though? Swamp land again. All right, so game plan is stay here for, we're going to probably stay in this dimension for a few episodes. Just because it is very, uh, key. Like, I want to get a lot of things from here. Now, I still don't understand what that is. Like, that actually is, uh, like, if I can actually take that all the way up, like, if I climb that all the way up, it would take me anywhere. Wait a minute, I have a flying mount. Why didn't I think of this before? Rayquaza. Alright, so I'm gonna fly all the way to the top here real... Did I just shoot to the top and then... Here, wait, wait. We're at the top, right? We are at the top, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna real quickly just, uh... Oh. Oof. Alright, we're not, we're not spending an entire episode doing this again. I just want to really quickly... Uh check something here so let me get like right here get right here like that get here and get here all right get up here get up here oh that's a little bit too much get up over here like that, so I don't hit my head. Oh, I just want to confirm if there's something all the way at the top here, or if I just did this for no reason. I did this for no reason. There's absolutely nothing up here, and I got killed by the little height. That's cool. All right, let's fall back down. I mean, there's a wormhole. Like the Pokemon can spawn on the grass here. Like that's not the weird part. It's just. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. I think this is supposed to resemble the block thing like sucked. I mean, I haven't watched Pokemon Sun and Moon, the anime, so I have absolutely no idea how this actually is supposed to work. But I think I might actually take fall damage here. Oh, yeah, I almost died. Okay, um, 
Let's not have that happen. I really don't want to die here because that would be very bad. I'd get shot out of this place before I could even explore it. Let's go up a bit. All right, is there anything out that way? There is pink. No, there is something, but I don't know if I can get over to it as easy. There is a water spell. Let me see if I could reach it. All right, let's just try it. Ugh. I think I'll make it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make it. I won't make it to the top, but I'll make it here. Yeah. See, it's not that hard to do. You just gotta, do I have blocks? Yeah, I do. You just gotta know how to do it properly, I suppose. Let's see right here. Break through all this. All right. And that should be, there we go. Whoa, what's that? Oh, that's just a flower. I thought that was a Pokemon. There's an ab right here. What is this biome? This is the root forest. See, I have to call, I'm gonna keep it enabled actually, cause I have to keep checking if we're in a ultra space biome or if we're in just the uh, traditional biome cause they can be one of the same here. Like as we saw last time I was here, it can go straight from like a normal biome to the ultra biome in an instant. We also did learn it last time I was here that every biome can spawn here. As crazy as that sounds. But like, at least you have the way of self-sustaining yourself in this dimension. Like you can get food, you can grow food here. I'm assuming you can grow food here. Um, you have all the different plants, herbs for the Pokemon, if you need them. It's pretty cool. All right, so this is a river biome. For a second it was a river biome. Now we're in Forest Hills. I'm really hoping since I redid the config file, it'll uh, proc the spawns of Pokemon some more. That's a Caterpie. Uh, Metapod. What was that? Oh, that's a I keep thinking. Here, wait, I can go this way. Ugh. Yeah, you get so much, like, jump boost by doing that. The, yeah, I just have to watch it. don't run out of food too quickly. Wait, can I just vein mine a tree with my, like... I can. Okay. Glad we confirmed that. Can I just, like... That Taylor I thought was like an Articuno or something for a second. Come on, come on. Oh, do I have to use the apple to do it? No? I'm confused. Do I have to use the axe to do it? Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say, this, This I guess, is a way to harvest if we really wanna harvest the uh, apples. If I start running low on them, I can just kinda run to the nearest tree and grab some. A core fish. How's a core fish? Whoa, where am I? Desert. Yeah, you know, I can see it too. Definitely a desert. Oh, there's a desert right over there. Now, where am I? Still desert. You think? Wouldn't have been my first guess. Hello, Diglett. Yeah, this, this is a desert, all right. I can, mm. I like, how, oh, now we're in Savannah. I like how each island has a Pokemon on it. See, the only thing that worries me about this is, like, let's say I did want to get a uh, legendary or something. Do you realize how much I'd have to look for it? Like, I was joking about how big the Ultra Beasts are. And, like, oh, if an Ultra Beast spawn, I would definitely be able to find it. This place is ridiculous. Also, I need building blocks. I'm just going to really, like, vein my... Wait. I'm just going to vein mine some cobblestone in case I, uh... Why isn't it vein mining it? There it goes. It's supposed to just be the lag. Okay. We got plenty of cobblestone to build with now. Um, in case I need to get out of here. There's an Excadrill. Oh, wait. I need to... Here, wait. To get a jump boost here. Oh, that's not going to work. And this will also kind of mark where I've been already. Okay, and I think I can jump out here. Yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, is that a... That's a ponytail. Okay. One thing I do want to get rid of is this armor. I'm not going to... Actually, wait a minute. I've never actually put on better gear. I I think I deserve better than gold. I've been wearing gold for how long? Um Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't need this. The bread I definitely need for food. Throwing that in there now. Um 
the minerals and items I'll throw in here as well also just to have and then I think we're good there this shulker box if I lose that I am screwed I will have lost all my hopes and dreams but let's see here oh and by the way as since I just saw the side that side uh, shout out to the um, detective Pikachu movie I haven't seen it yet but I plan on seeing it soon probably by next weekend at least uh, if anyone's seen it already let me know in the comments down below feel free to not spoil it but just let me know be like hey I saw it it was a good movie or just let me know how it was if you have seen it um they should have done something and picked someone for it, honestly. That would have been really cool. Uh, Weedle, Pidgeys, Abra. Four stills. What's funny is I have yet to actually find a uh, Ultra Space Dimension. The Dimension. Uh, the Ultra Space Biome, I should say. I've only seen... Honestly, we've been in Forest Hills for a minute now. Like... Does that really not give me what I need? Come on. I need my uh, apples. That's one apple. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. That's some more apples. Oh, it's a deer leg. I don't think I actually have this deerling yet. I'm going to catch it. Since I haven't really caught a Pokemon yet from this Ultra Space, might as well catch one, you know? Uh, deerling. Okay, I caught it. Now, see, it said I already caught the, a deerling, but I don't know if, like, I've caught the exact same deerling. I'm apparently in a river biome now. Wait, Keldeo has spawned in the river biome. Wait. Wait. Keldeo? Keldeo. What are the chances he's down there? Okay, let's check. Let's check. Not what I would have expected to spawn, but I will take it. Alright, I'm going to check down here first. I don't see it. Here, I'm just going to clear out some of the... Some of the unwanted bear. What is fighting me? Geo, dude, not now. Like, of, of all the times, really not now. Drop all, please. Thank you. Okay, wait. Wait. This. Wait, this isn't now an ultra forest. When did that happen? Okay, so it's not down here. I need to get back up. Uh, uh, uh Rayquaza, I am panicking. Rayquaza, Rayquaza, line me up. Line me up, like, right here. Yes, now let me go. Let me go. Ugh. Okay. Uh, you can go right place up. Definitely. Here, wait. I'm going to have to clear this out while. Like, I won't be able to see it. One thing I did check is the despawn radius for Pokemon. Like, if you, uh... If you have a Pokemon spawn, how far is that to walk away for it can despawn? Now, now what? Teddy Ursa... I like how all these Pokemon want to fight me now that I'm, like, in a crisis right now. I mean, Kelio can only be on the ground. He wouldn't be... Wouldn't be... What is that? That's a Mega Alakazam. Uh, okay, this is River. Keldeo... Oh, you don't think. Wait. Okay, no. This is Forest. This is Forest. He's not there. He has to be over here. I mean, he could have walked away at this point, but... He wouldn't have been up there. I just had a heart attack when I saw that. Keldeo? Keldeo? Oh, this is... I really want Keldeo now. Okay, every single Pokemon is, like, on high alert that I want this Keldeo, and it's like... It's like we gotta stop him. We can't let him catch this thing. I don't even know why I broke that. That was unnecessary. Also, shout out to the fact that the Acacia trees are spawning here. But, like, not Acacia. Am I still in... Still in a river. Yeah. And what sucks is I don't know if... Oh, there's a uh, grotto here. You know, I'm just going to waste my time to do this real quick. Hidden power, thanks. Really appreciate the, uh, the uh, effort here. 
I don't. I really don't think it appeared down there. I checked down there first. Although I really would have wished he would have been down there. But I don't think he was down there. He was up here somewhere. Caldeo. See, I don't know how big Caldeo can be. I know what he looks like. Um, I think he spawned in the uh, end city over here. Wait, is that him? No, that's a radicate. What are the chances he walked off the edge? Is this still a river biome? No, this is forest hills. Uh, oh, this really sucks. It's funny because I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't. Pre I was prepared for a legendary to spawn, but I wasn't prepared for like the minute I say, "Oh yeah, there's a river biome here." Legendary spawn the river biome. Oh. <laughs> and like, I don't think flying around would help me either, because I feel like um. I feel like I'm better just hunting on ground like this. For spawning this kind of a Pokemon, if it was a flying type, I would go in the air. But I think. Oh, this sucks. Am I really going to say I missed this Caldeo? I forget exactly what the radius was for the player that they can spawn at. Just for all I know, he just spawned in a tree somewhere and he's like stuck. But right now, I just have no idea where he could possibly be. Okay, this is way too far. I have to be back over here. What also sucks is that's an enemy drill. Um, if I miss, okay, I'm going to check down here one more time, even though I really, really don't think he spawned down here, but for all I, like he could have li literally just spawned and walked off the edge. Yeah. Can confirm he is not down here. Like, Kelly, are you somehow in that hole there? All right. I don't think he's here. No, but where's the river biome? So river biome goes this way. I'm gonna follow the river biome all the way out. Okay, it just ends. I thought that rock rough was him for a second. So river biome is legitimately this. Like this right here. Like wait, this is river biome? Is this river ultra forest? So river biome right here. Stops right there. Okay, goes this way. Okay, so river biome here. Does it go all the way? No, it's just this. Wait. Did he... He would have had... Did he fall? I mean, I obviously know he could have moved by now, and he probably did move by now, but what I'm questioning is... Wait. I gotta get myself out of here. Break all this, actually. Because this is river, river, ultra forest. But see, like, what if he was, what if it was a different river? Was there any more river? I really don't want to abandon this thing. I don't want to say it didn't spawn or I missed it. No, this is river over here. Wait, wait, this is river. Wait, no, 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 wait, that's not river anymore. Wait, 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 river, wait. No, like, this is river right here. Is still river. No, this is ultra jungle. Oh, the ultra jungle. This is ultra forest. Um, river. River, can I walk through here? River, what are the chances he's in this hole right here? Um, I don't think... I think we lost him. I really think we lost him. That's so upsetting. I don't think there's any other here. I will check on uh, Charizard. Okay, let me just... No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Problem is with the legendaries, you just shoot up, or not legendaries, the flying mounts, you just shoot up in the air. Ow. Okay, can I try this again? Oh my gosh, yeah, no, no, it's just like, he just instantly launches in the air. 
Uh, well, I guess I can use this to get do the uh, once over. I'm so upset. Because, like, I prepared for this exact event, and I still was not ready for um, a legendary just to plop out like that. Well, I guess that's the nature of the, uh, whatever this place is. The Ultra Dimension. Ultra Space Dimension. Alright. I thought, I really thought that that Deerling was him. And I was about to lose it. No, he would have have to, I don't think he would have despawned, but I, he's probably long gone. I'm actually thinking he walked off the edge. Like, I am convinced, unless this is somehow a river. Is this somehow a river? No. I am convinced that he spawned in that ridge down there and immediately walked off. Or he spawned, like, in a cave. Or, uh... Like, he spawned on one of the grass blocks underneath the island. And he just walked off. Or got stuck on one of these right here. Because... Although, I don't think Caldeo is the biggest Pokemon. He's, like, a little deer looking guy unicorn more or less but like i think that uh i think he just um we missed him which sucks but it's fine i did want to do a little bit more exploring though before we uh end up the episode just to get the uh the tick speed going again because every i think it's twenty five thousand ticks a legendary can spawn Oh, there's a fungus. Or a fungus. So, yeah, I'm trying to right now hopefully get a, uh, a, uh, I'm actually going to raid this temple as well. Rain? I know it could rain here. I'm actually going to raid the Shulker temple. So, let's go to the top. Boop. Put you away. Because shulkers still do spawn here. I believe they can, so I'm just going to... Yep, one just teleported around. Alright. Well, you can't hit me, my dude, if I'm jumping around like this. I'm telling you that right now. Don't even try it. So, let's see. Is there... No, there's nothing there. Can you hit me? Crap, he did hit me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Levitation, stop. Great view from up here. Levitate at 50 blocks in there from a shulker. I hate. Wait, how long? Oh, no, I should be descending now, right? Okay, I'm descending. I was like... I think it, it did that thing where since I'm in the ultra space, it just shoots me up as high as it can. I think it shot me to world height, actually. No. No. One... I, that's no way. Not, can I descend, please, before the world height legitimately kills me? Alright, that's actually very dangerous. If I get hit by a shulker projectile, it just shoots me thousands of blocks in the air. Not thousands, it shoots me a good, like, 50. Alright, we're coming back down. I just have to not be hit by that. Wait, right, I think I need to go, like, right... I need to go in there, I think. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've actually, like... Oh, no, you don't. Nope, nope. Not getting hit by it, not getting hit by it. You missed. Alright, I'm not actually dealing with this structure. Now. I don't actually think there is a uh, loot area here. Unless on the bottom level. See, what's funny is those projectiles, like, follow you. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Back into the wilderness we go. Let's eat to regen a bit. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, though, guys, if you th where you think I should head next in this dimension. Obviously, like, I know where I'm going, right? But let me know if there's, like, a specific, uh, biome I should be looking for. Body slam. If there's, like, a specific, uh... I know somebody commented last episode they want me to catch a ho -O. So ho would spawn in the Mesa, which I have yet to even find in this dimension. 
I'm being honest right now. But you know what I like are these little platforms here because they're different biomes. Well, they were at least different biomes. It still says Forest Hills for me. But like when I was in the other one, it said like when I landed on it, like this was a uh, a de desert biome or whatever. That was pretty cool. And I think there's more... Oh no, actually, I might be in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I need to hit the water. I need to hit the water. There's water over here. Water, 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 come on, come on, come on, clutch, 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 close on, yes, oh, thank God, <laughs> I almost, I almost messed up big time there, one thing we do not want to do is fall, it is really hard to fall in this, you know what, Elytra would actually work really well here, but yeah, it's really hard to fall, but it can happen. Also, this place, it doesn't really matter if I walk in a circle. Like, it doesn't at all matter if I'm walking around in a circle because anything can spawn in this dimension. Like, any Pokemon in existence can appear in this dimension. You know what this dimension reminds me of? And I almost hate to make this comparison. The, uh, the Ore Spawn Chaos Dimension. That is legitimately what this is, but for Pokemon. Because anything can appear here. Any structure... From Vanilla Mike. Oh, imagine if they update this to 1.13 or whatever. And imagine all the like boat structures that would be spawning here. That's hilarious. That would be hilarious. All right, let's check. Let's check. Sorry about this, little shulker people, but I'm uh, raiding you. Okay, nothing's here, so we need to get to the uh, outside structure. I think oh crap it does go up a bit okay let's let's scale it up like this and then go to the bridge i don't think nope those are regular shulkers what about over here shulkers and let's go up i'm not getting hit by one of those projectiles it's the last thing i do okay nothing is here all right we're out see ya wouldn't want to be ya. Just gotta watch I don't accidentally fall off the edge again like an idiot. Okay. I have to watch because those projectiles do follow me for a bit. Yeah, one's coming down right now. And they have the increased enhanced properties of this uh, biome. If that makes sense. Not biome, but dimension. So, yeah, they followed me for a while. <laughs> I think that's why the one actually got to me when I was super high in the air was because I think it... Uh, Got the boost also when it went flying in the air. So it followed me all the way up. And I almost died. I'm pretty sure keep inventory is on. Um, I mean, I shouldn't die in Pixelmon unless I fall. Um, but I'm pretty sure keep inventory is on just in case if I ever did run into a situation like this. Okay. If you don't get the momentum, you don't make the jump. You're just kind of awkwardly floating. I think I see what I want. Is that a yep? It's a beast ball. Which is what I need. Um, I hope to actually find... Because I think the only way... Not the only way, but I think the best Pokeball to use for the Ultra Beasts are the uh, Beast Balls. I think you can use regular Pokeballs, but I could be wrong about that. But I think the only way to find a Beast Ball is through the uh, loot. That also shows us the new area since I haven't looted that yet. But hey, I think we have gone on long enough. I think I'm going to end off the video right here. And then we can explore that over there next time around. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, Ultra Space Dimension Exploring. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to do this for a few episodes, if not uh, of a while, because I really do enjoy this uh, area. You know, I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to make a deal with you guys. I said the like goal is five. If this video can get to ten likes, I'll do two Pixelmon videos next week. So let's see if we can make that happen. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.